wrap yourself around and give yourself a pat. It's pouring outside. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh well, the power went off. I guess we'll just call it a day. This week has been very productive. I finished three crochet pattern, two for my Patreon and one for crochet alone. And I also designed this doll. This is the August exclusive crochet pattern for my Patreon, this Renko Bear. Speaking of dolls, I still have some custom order I have to catch up. I hope I can make some this weekend so I can ship them ASAP. That way I can get into my inventory making for Calgary Expo. I cannot wait to go to Calgary. I miss Calgary so much. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to Ikea and all the other Asian markets to get whatever I need. I already made my shopping list so I know where to go and what to get. I do miss my artist alley life a lot and I hope this time everything will go back to normal and I can go back to my market life. Yeah, I do miss those though. It feels like I'm out of job for almost two years but during these two years I'm still very busy because I was trying many different things like I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel I'm trying to grow my TikTok and I'm trying to grow on my Instagram as well which I didn't really pay any attention before when I was busy prepping for my Comic Con and market because I don't have time for social media but during these two years I've learned a lot and made many different friends so let's get your drinks ready and get into today's vlog Hi friends, this is what I've been working on this week. This is the basic sketch of my um, August Patreon exclusive crochet pattern. This is a raincoat bear. And I already made the parts. I'm going to kind of put them all together and show you how the final look like. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the body first. This is my sketch and this is what I made from this sketch. I think my patrons will love it. So yeah, later I'm going to um, make the video of this one, share the result to my Patreon. I think this one turned out really good. I like it. To introduce you my only and luxury furl crochet hook that I bought a couple years ago but I never really use it this is very very pretty when I first saw this crochet hook I was in love with it because the color look at that is very very pretty what I pick is size E hook this type of the crochet hook is good for your wrist but I didn't realize for this design it's good for people who holding your hook like this so it's kind of helping you reduce some pressure while you're working with your wrist but the problem is I hold my crochet hook like this so this one doesn't really help me so now this beautiful crochet hook stay in this box for now maybe I will pass it down to my next generation I think but all in all it's a very pretty hook and is definitely not cheap but I, I just purchased it 
so now i think this one will be a gift for myself or i can just pass it down to my my kid i don't know if they crochet maybe they would like to keep one of this hello friends you're looking at my august bonus crochet pattern and exclusive crochet pattern for my patreon this one is a self-love sloth and this is a raincoat bear my patrons name him sam this one doesn't have a name yet so for this raincoat bear I've been planning to make a wrinkle bear for a long time and I'm really happy that I can make this for my patrons on Patreon and I also add up the details by using the needle felt. I also like the size very much, it's a chibi size so it can go on your table as your desk buddy or you can add a keychain it can be your um, lovely accessories to your backpack or canvas bag why is this one the self-love sloth? because you can kind of wrap yourself around and give yourself a pat something like that yeah I think these two look really good together as a set so if you're interested you can join my patreon august whoever joined this month in august will have access to this two crochet pattern if you join ohana pattern clubs this month on my patreon you will have access to both pattern till the end of august but if you pick the ohana friends you will have access to this one because this love yourself self-love sloth this one is a bonus to celebrate my first goal achievement on patreon which is 20 patrons yeah so far i have 22 even though the page says 29 but some of them are already deleted pledge so this is something about patreon i want to let you know joining my patreon there's no pressure you can cancel anytime you want if you would like to support me every single month you can and you feel like oh i want to drop out this month and you can do it too no pressure at all and the price is really affordable for ohana friends it's two dollars per month and for ohana pattern club it's six dollar a month you can cancel it at any time and sign up anytime you want because i understand sometimes maybe you don't like the pattern of the month but for those who really want to support me of what i'm doing thank you so much for sticking around for this is the third month now so yeah i'm very happy about that i have at least 22 patrons so far and that means a lot to me thank you thank you so much here here's the hug for you so i'll see you on patreon <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my Comic Con preparation, which is my inventory so far. Now actually, I made this last year. I didn't make any of them this year yet because I've been very, very busy. I think this is a good timing to show you my Harry Potter collection because July 31st will be Harry Potter's birthday. Happy birthday, Harry. So yeah, this is what I have right now i also have voldemort but someone adopt him so he's not here you can we can look at the picture right there for now and i will definitely have to make more of you know who so, yeah this is ron and i'm not so sure if i pronounce his name right but ron yeah um i love his orange hair and i found it a little bit difficult to find this type of color just for his hair but well it's a very beautiful color so i grabbed some more when i could he's definitely a keeper very cute next one is harry harry potter yeah um this one is a little bit different because i use a different material to make the scarf this is the older design but the newer design comes with the newer design looks like this and everything is crocheted this is my older design that i use the felt to make the parts yeah and these are what i have left from the last year's inventory i still have some of them hopefully this one will be adopted soon and this is her molly she is a sweetheart i love her hair very very much it's pain in the ass to make but the result is totally worth it i will still make it this way because i love it the texture is good uh, the effect is really well too it really represents her puffy curly rich volume of the hair right don't you think okay next one is a luna love good this is the first time i've made 
Luna Lovegood. Her glasses is the reason why I didn't make her yet, because I didn't really know how to make it look cute on her, especially on this tiny size of the doll. That is a challenge for me, but somehow I just make it this way. I think it looks good too. So yeah, hopefully this one will be adopted too. This one is Toby, and I still feel sad about how the story end. I even make this little socks on his hand. So this one will be at my booth too in Calgary Expo in September. Yeah, I forgot to mention about that. Yeah, speaking of Calgary Expo, yeah, I'm going to Calgary Expo this September. I believe it's September 10th to 12th at the Calgary Stampede Park. So if you're out and about, please come join me and come find me in the artist alley. I'll be vending there and you will see these and the other dolls that I've made. Okay, the next one is Hagrid. It's a challenge to make his fluffy hair and I'm very happy to find this type of yarn. So I think this yarn does the trick and it looks really good. So speaking of the Comic Con preparation, I will be getting to that really soon next week this week i will have to catch up some more orders hopefully to make them all and ship them all and i can be concentrate on making these inventory wish me good luck oh there's more i have one more harry two more harry <laughs> three more harry so happy birthday harry potter Whee! We air fry some fries right there. Yum, Alyssa's favorite. And these are the burgers that Jody made. Homemade burger. That's what we are having today. And I got these veggies ready. We also have some onions and pickles. Where's your veggies? Nowhere to be seen. That's pickle. That's not veggie. Onions. Yum. There are vegetables. Where are the greens? Right there. Yay. Yeah. Here's the potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes are your greens? Yes. They were green when they were planted. I can't say I'm wrong. Cause I'm and, right. and what color will they come out from your body? <laughs> That's Purple. just mean. And this is mine. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.